Okay, now we have to display each of these informations available in the cursor object in a list view. So for that, we have to create a separate a custom adapter. So for supplying the each row of data in the form of an object, we have to create another Java class. So right click the package and create a new Java class. I name it as data provider. The purpose of this class is to provide each row of data in the form of an object and click OK. So we have to create some variables here, private string, uh, I name it as name, second one is private string mobile, third one is private string email okay also we need a constructor for this class so public data provider with three arguments string name string mobile string email now we have to initialize each of these variables from this constructor. So this dot name equal to name. Now this dot mobile equal to mobile. And finally this dot email equal to email. Now we, we need to add some getter and setter methods for all these variables. So here I am going to add the getter and setter methods. So select getters and setters. Here I need getters and setters for all these methods and click OK. OK now we got the getters and setters method for these variables name, mobile and email. OK now we need to create a custom adapter so create another java class so right click the package and create the new java class i name it as list data adapter list data adapter click ok and extends this class using array adapter you need to add a constructor for this class so use this one context object and a resource ID so use the first constructor and click OK now go back to the data list activity so first here we need to declare an object of the adapter class the, here the adapter class name is data list adapter sorry list data adapter so create an object of list data adapter I name it as list data adapter now we have to initialize that particular class list data adapter so here I am going to initialize that class so list data adapter equal to new list data adapter First, you have to pass a context. Use the get application context. Now, you have to pass the custom layout. So, r dot layout dot here the custom layout name is raw layout. Okay. Now, we have to set the adapter for the list view. So, list view dot set adapter. Adapter name is list data adapter okay so now here from the constructor from the cursor we have to add each row of data each row of informations into the data provider class so we can use the constructor on that class so here I am going to get each informations from the cursor object so for that I declare three variables int name email name mobile 
and final one is email okay now here I am going to get each of the informations from the cursor object so name equal to cursor dot use the method called the get string and specify the column index so here in our case in our database the first column is the name so use 0 for the first column index now we have to get mobile number so mobile equal to cursor dot get string 1 and the third column represent the email so email equal to cursor dot get string 2 okay now we have to pass all these informations name mobile and email into the data provider class so create an object of data provider I name it as data provider equal to new data provider and here you need to pass name mobile and email mobile and final one is email now we have to add each of these data provider object into the adapter so go to the adapter class here the adapter class name is list data adapter and here you have to add some override method first I add the first override method add method also here I am going to create a list I name it as list equal to new array list so each of the object I am going to add each of the data provider class object into this list so list dot add the object name here the object name is object okay now go back to data list activity so here we have to pass each of the data provider object into the add method on the adapter class so here the adapter class object name is list, uh, list data adapter so list data adapter dot add and pass the data provider object so it this will pass each row of data in the form of the data provider object into the adapter so now go back to the adapter so here you need to overwrite some more methods first one is get count so here you need to pass the number of items in the list so list to dot size now you need to override another method get item get item so here you need to pass each of the object on the current position so return list dot get and pass the position and the final one is we have to override get view that will return each row of data okay so before going to create the view we have to create a static inner class so here I am going to create a static class static class I name it as layout handler and create some variables so we need three text to view objects because our row contain three text to views text to user name text to user mobile the first one is text to user name text to user mobile and final one is text to user email so create three text to view object text to view name mobile and email okay so on the get view method first here I am going to create an object of view here so view I name it as raw equal to convert view so the first thing we have to check already the row is available or not so if the row is not present we have to create the row first 
so check whether the row is available or not if the row is null we have to create the entire row so for creating the row we need the object of the static class called uh, layout handler so layout handler I name it as layout handler so here first we have to inflate the layout resource file for that we need an object of layout inflator layout inflator equal to this dot get context dot get system service context dot use this one layout inflator service typecast this one into layout inflator okay now we have to create the row so row equal to layout inflator dot call the inflate method first one you have to pass the layout name r dot layout dot row layout second one you have to pass the view group here the view group is parent also you have to pass a third argument false okay now we got the row now we have to get each of the items from the row we have to get name text view called the name user text username text user mobile and text user email so use the layout handler object so first we have to initialize the layout handler equal to new layout handler so the first one layout handler dot name equal to row dot find the view by id r dot id dot first one is contact name typecast this one into text view the second one is layout handler dot mobile equal to row dot find view by id r dot id dot contact mobile also typecast this one into text view and the final text view is layout handler dot email equal to row dot find view by id r dot id dot contact email typecast this one into text view okay so now we have all the row now we have all now we get all the uh, components from the row now we have to add this row into the into the layout so use this method row dot set tag and layout handler okay now we complete the row so if the row is already existing in the else part if the row is already existing we have to get the object of layout handler from the existing row so layout handler equal to row dot get tag typecast this one into layout handler here we need an object of the data provider so create an object of data provider here name it as data provider equal to you can get each object of the data provider from the list so you can get it from the get item method this method so call that method this dot get item with position this will return each object from the list typecast this one into data provider 
now we have to assign each row of data so the first one is layout handler so it is not in the else part we have to done it outside this else so cut this one okay so the first one is layout handler dot email dot set text we have to get each data from the getter method on the data provider class so data provider dot get name so it is not email it is name and the second one is layout handler dot mobile dot set text data provider dot the second one is mobile get mobile and the third one is layout handler dot email dot set text data provider dot get email and finally we have to return the row so return row now we finish all the codings now we can run the application so now I am going to run this application okay before going to run this application we made a big mistake here here it is not contact name in our raw layout the ID is text contact name here the username text username uh, text user mobile and text user email we made a big mistake in the data handler uh, list data adapter so change this one into r dot id dot text username change this one into text user mobile this one text user email okay now we can run this application okay now we have the application available on the virtual device so now here in this virtual device I run this application for the first time so we have to add some contacts so click the add contact button Prabish put some mobile number Prabish123 at gmail.com click save now one row is added now add another row click add contact again rupesh with mobile number 89234 add some email address rupesh123 at yahoo.com click save add one more one more row Rishmi with some mobile number some email address Rishmi123 at gmail.com ok and click save now we add three rows into the database now I am going to click the view contacts now you can see now it will display all the informations in a list view the first one is the name second one represents the mobile number third one represents the email address okay so this is how we retrieve all the informations from the SQLite database and how to display it in a list view I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching see you in the next episode